what are custom audience and lookalike audience. Both Facebook and Google have this really powerful feature, uh, which is called custom audience and lookalike audience. So what this feature allow you to do is to take a list of customers that you currently have. Let's just say, for example, I have a list of all my best customers and I have their I have their email and I have their phone number. I can upload this list into Facebook and Google. Then Facebook and Google will match this individual based on the email and phone number that they use to register in their Facebook account or in their Gmail account and find out what are their characteristics. For example, maybe these people like to watch movie, they live uh, in Johor and they use an iPhone. Based on this characteristic of the existing customer you have uploaded, which is called the seed audience, Facebook will find other people within their database that matches the same profile. So if you give them a list of everyone who uses an iPhone, live in Kluang, and have interest in fishing and dancing, Facebook will then find other people who have this similar profile. And Facebook grade this similarity from 0 to 20. 0 being very, very similar, 20 being not so similar. So if you try to create a lookalike audience on your own in Facebook, the maximum is 0 to 10. But if BZ create lookalike audience because we are using the API, we can create a lookalike audience up to 20. The advantage of that is that we can create a bigger size of audience that matches your seed audience lookalike. So if you create it on Facebook, the population size is maybe only 1 million, but we can find up to 4 million people who matches that profile. So why is this feature so important? Prior before this, Facebook does targeting based on a lot, based on third-party cookie data. Whenever you key in the interest targeting profile, like people who like fishing, people who like dancing, people who like all these different interests, all this data is based on Facebook observing what people are watching and consuming inside Facebook and outside Facebook, like for example, if someone goes to read a lot of fishing blogs, someone goes and buy fishing equipment from an e-commerce website. So all this data is used to build a profile of the customer. But starting late 2020, both Chrome, Google Chrome, and Apple iOS have blocked third-party cookie data. That means Facebook and Google ability to learn about a customer profile from their behavior outside Facebook or outside YouTube and outside Google website is now limited. So targeting based on interest is no longer that powerful as before. So what we need to do to compensate for the lack of interest-based targeting is to use custom audience, upload a list of customers that you have, and create a lookalike from this seed audience.